at AP Art History, our slide for the week of April 13th through the 17th. Let's dive into it. All right, this one is called Woman One. It's done in 1950 to 1952, oil on canvas. It's featured in the Museum of Modern Art, so MoMA, and it's by the artist William D. Kooning. Okay, you can classify this under abstract expressionist and more specifically, we can see this being used as like an action painting. And I think just looking at it, you probably will understand what action painting could represent. So Kooning, he trained as a traditional artist initially, but switched to the abstract painting and for this work used action painting over time. So we can see, excuse me. We can see, um, despite the spontaneous piece he worked, he worked on this for over a year and a half. So he was known for actually creating multiple versions of this woman and then completely stripping it down and painting over it. And I think you can kind of clearly see that with his um, brush strokes and how they change in so many directions and just look at how so... Uh, spontaneous it looks and again also maybe even showing some aggression um, so continuing on this is part of just showing his spontaneous uh, he worked on this for a year and a half and you can see just the scatterness of the paint and the directions that it's going it's going there's no kind of uh, formality to it um, and he would apply paint to the canvas and then scrape it away like I said and he would do it in such of a way that it would kind of show aggressiveness uh, towards the brush strokes and show these intense uh, colors along with it. So um, again, when we kind of say intense colors, I would say maybe classifying it as like the bright colors. Uh, he even used the word garish colors, which is kind of relating to like um, like muted like skin tones and these grays and the, how they're all kind of mixed in. It just kind of makes it little on the messy side as at least that's kind of the interpretation so this displays um, all physical po uh, possibilities of paints with thick and thin rough and slick opaque and translucent and his manipulation of the medium over time is visible in the final work and I think you can clearly again you can see those particular um, attributes Cooting, cooting surface, uh, despite her heavy figure, she is forced into a shallow space of this composition. So alluding to the title, this is Woman One. Uh, we can see that there's really nothing else going on in the scene except for her. And I think it's just more focusing on the brush strokes and paying attention to the direction of all the brush strokes. And basically her figure itself, I think, is where we're going to kind of... Uh, lead on to discussing. So abstract expression, expressionism is addressing the age of subject of feminine power using the new aggressive painting style. So this is all about femininity. This is about um, going back to the archetypes like the Paleolithic. I think about the Venus of Willendorf when I look at this. Uh, the god they're even alluding to in the video they talked about um, the pinup girls, um, basically how women at this particular time in the 50s were being shown in movies as just being very beautiful and just um, all about their sexuality being expressed. And I think that's where he's kind of um, kind of coming up with this particular piece. So he reflects on the old the old cultures um, and really just trying to give femininity showing power. Um, basically showing like the ferociousness, um, her toothy glare, making anything but a typical seductive like a, a Venus uh, or an Olympia. So like we have connections with if you were to see this on a on an on the exam where you got to compare this with maybe like more of a traditional one where we got like Venus or Olympia. Monet's Olympia um, and how just the portrayal of woman okay so this is actually our last one that we'll get into this kind of will wrap us up for uh, basically discussing our whole series of the reclining nude the Venus the goddess of love and how at this time now we're seeing her being uh, depicted in modern time in the 20th century um, and, and this is where we're where we're kind of putting our gears towards so um, let me just see okay 
Um, Kooning is really trying to push the boundaries. As he gets more radical, he becomes more criticized. Um, the series really reflects the many idealizations of women throughout history. And I would really stress that again. So let me just repeat that one. The series reflected the many idealizations of women throughout history. Vengeful and power and hollow and seduct seductiveness is what we've been always discussing in class, specifically when we've seen um, ser um, all the series of reclining nudes in class and all of our discussions. Um, this is really pushing to not even recognize the form, almost like it's as harsh as the academic uh, rules. And again, this is this is post World War II, so New York becomes the center of art world, and during the 50s, the pressure is not. Uh, so much on the use of forms, uh, but the rise of abstract expressionism. So you can even think about the other artist. He's not part of our seri he series or part of the 250, but Jackson Pollock, if you're familiar with him, he just does a lot of um, action painting, a lot of expressionism painting, where basically it looks like he's just flicking paint on his canvas. Um, and that's what he is part of. Again, we're, we're going to classify him under abstract expressionist, action painting, um, the artist's medium and subject matter coverage is really disturbing and it's aggressive to femininity. But we can see how, in a sense, it's also showing power in her, fero in her ferociousness and her, and her teeth. That's really going to be about all I'm going to cover for this particular slide. <sighs> Make this one a short and sweet one. Okay, over and out, guys.